Taylor Swift, aka Layla Cream Cheese, is back at it again with another feminist message. And you're gonna listen to me rant about it. The Man, brought to you by After Effects. I would be complex. I would be cool. They'd say I played the field before I found someone to commit to. Ugh. We're starting off the day right! Oh, if I was a man, I'd be considered complex cool. And if I was a complete whore, everyone would just love me for it because I would have a penis. I want to tell you something. People don't like whores, like men or women, because in the grand scheme of things, like if we're talking long-term romantic relationships, that person would look romantically unreliable. I will say that there are some men who applaud other men for fucking around but most men don't fuck around like that most of them project themselves on the guys who can because that's the fantasy that men have like yeah i want to get all the pussy i want to get all the money all the all the acclaim and all the prestige when they really don't they celebrate the fantasy because it's not their reality come on taylor come on that would be okay for me to do Every conquest I had made would make me more of a boss to you. Oh, not with that fist bump. If we speak about men the way you do, as they're all just a bunch of macho dude bro idiots, then there's no way you're getting any male friends. Not with that limp wrist and that ass popping out. Like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here, Taylor. I'd be a fearless leader. I'd be an alpha type. Apparently, this is a callback to The Wolf of Wall Street. And no, I'm not reading into that. Even uh, The Washington Post agrees with me that this is a callback to The Wolf of Wall Street. Oh my god! It points out the sexism and the patriarchy, even though there's several women in the film who participate in the vapid, debaucherous, money-hungry lifestyle that he does. There's even women in her fucking video. Women of color. So yeah, I don't understand how this works in <laughs> at all everyone believes ya what's that like oh dear god don't ever do that <laughs> i feel like i've been violated <laughs> oh my god you know what she looks like she looks like that fucking kid who transformed into a monkey from jumanji the makeup job is like halfway decent and until you look into her eyes and it's just oh rape i'm so sick of running as fast as i can uh Man spreading. Man spreading. Really? <laughs> this is how you know a feminist from the Western world made this video. How come guys can get herpes and open their legs on a train? <laughs> Hey, what the fuck is this supposed to boss scotch? Capitalize on the feeling. This is so piss poor. Like, it's supposed to be some kind of biting clever commentary. Like, you know how Robocop had those satirical ads in the movie? Here at the Family Heart Center, we feature the complete Jarvik line. Series 7 Sports Heart. You pick the heart. Extended warranty. Financing. Qualifies for health tax credit. And remember, we care. This is supposed to be kind of like that, but it's so poorly done. No one, no. Oh, and the, let's get back to the man spreading. All the women, of course, are disenfranchised and uncomfortable. Oh, they have to scooch over. Their lives are so fucking difficult, right? But then look at the black dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit this lone black man in here who's so scared of this powerful white dick <laughs> no please balls don't dick slap me with your big old white <laughs> penis like him, have him clutching his bag like he's about to get a whooping from, <laughs> from his master taylor taylor <laughs> what are you doing girl what you doing what you doing this is all you have to complain about you're living the easiest fucking life also men have balls the, the, their legs might have to be open to give room to their balls so they can comfortably sit. I'm sorry if biology is so perturbing to you. Like, we're talking mad shit about, like, the hypothetical white guy with his legs open. But what about the fucking six retards who sat next to this motherfucker knowing he was going to eventually crowd everyone? And why haven't any of you, any of you asked him to clo simply close his legs? Like, what the fuck? You are all accomplices in this heinous white male crime. la di da -di every fucking body. Really? Didn't he... <laughs> 
are you really seriously complaining about, oh, I wasn't successful quick enough. I should have been a fucking millionaire when I was a zygote bitch. But men got in my way. They stepped on my umbilical cord and said, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, Taylor? It's men against boys. And I'm guessing that says, and no ladies around. Like, this is so fucking surface level and childish. Like, how can you even call this clever? Speak now. Oh, is this the name of all her fucking albums? That is so lame. Can you imagine spending four minutes and 14 seconds complaining about how disenfranchised and oppressed you are in a video where you basically flaunt how fucking successful you are. This is just, this is a wall of hubris and a man is pissing on it. Missing, if I don't return to Taylor Swift. Uh, oh yeah, uh, well, I guess he's talking about the Scooter Braun thing. A man pissing on her life's work. <laughs> but who cares? You're still a fucking millionaire. I don't give a shit. Musicians go through contract disputes constantly. How is this specific to you or to women? Shut the fuck up, honestly. Like, grow up. What I was wearing, if I was rude. Could I be separated from my good ideas and power moves? Why can't I be rude to surface workers and be it like a total cunt and men can? Like, um, everyone, what the fuck? <laughs> Taylor, was it really a power move when you were suing fans for selling merch of you? Was it? I mean, well, technically it was because Disney does pretty much the same thing. But they're a nice ethical corporation. Okay? <laughs> I want you to downvote this video. <laughs> yes, Daddy Taylor, I will. That's how you know the female artist you're listening to is a vapid twat when she makes that one song. If I were a boy, I was a kind of boy. If I was a man, I'd be so much more successful as she uh, fucking twerks in a pile of cash. <laughs> uh, I guess men spending time with their kids is uh, a bad thing now. How you can you can, can you can congratulate men on doing some basic shit? Well, people congratulate women on the same fucking basic shit. Oh, I, oh, you clean your house? You raise your kids? It's the most difficult job on the planet. Any job that you can do in your pajamas is not a difficult job. You're the greatest woman ever. Please let me sniff your ass. People suck up to women over parenthood way more than they do men. Like, honestly. I can't do this. People won't let me live. No, you're a fucking public figure. And if you come off like an asshole, there's gonna be a lot more people calling you an asshole than there would if you were a regular person. See, but the thing is, you're a narcissist and narcissists don't like anyone speaking negatively of them ever instead of self-reflecting you're like no this is obviously because i'm a woman and not because i'm a cunt oh, so like i said clever commentary women's charity what's with the curtains is that supposed to simulate a blue sky you see the world is a shithole and the sky is a blue curtain <laughs> She's such a terrible actor. But anyway, um, oh, I guess this is supposed to be about, uh, what, um, what, McEnroe? Like, that shit was 30 years ago. <laughs> but if you want a more recent example of toxic tennis players going after the referee, uh, I got one. No, that doesn't count because it ruins the video's message. Oh, old guys with young chicks. That, that shows you how male privilege. Yeah, because older chicks never date younger people. Never. Fucking ever. And also, I love how they imply that this chick is basically a gold digger because of the huge rock on her finger. She's basically a whore taking advantage of this old man. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Cause she's not a man. <laughs> Oh, right quick, I want to say uh, R.I.P. to uh, the man, Kirk Douglas. I don't know why. Oh, being congratulated for a really mediocre documentary. I No, that's never happened to a woman ever before. <clears throat> is that a little bit of self-awareness from Taylor Swift? The short answer is no. Oh, this guy hates him so much because he's gay. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's totally the gold digger's hard limit right there. Cake. <laughs> if she married the motherfucker despite his old balls, uh, cake is not going to be a deal breaker. <laughs> Oh my god, we have an after credits thing. Is it like Marvel? Hey, just checking. Was that last take more what you had in mind? What the fuck is this? <laughs> a soy boy look with a 10 inch dick voice? These things are not compatible with each other, Taylor. Could you try to be sexier? Maybe more likable this time? Oh, is this, uh, uh, yeah, because men are never told that either. They're never told that. They are never told that. It's not like uh, Henry Cavill just came out recently and said he basically dehydrated himself just so his abs would pop out. If you're doing a shirtless scene, uh, what's that you have to... To dehydrate yourself. That's the worst part of it. Like, diet is difficult um, and you're hungry, but when you're dehydrating for three days, you get to the point on the last day where you can smell water. So <laughs> why, did you, why did you do that? To, to get super it's, toned? It, yeah, it, gets your, uh, it makes your skin really thin. So it sits on the muscles. That's not it's, it's not it's not no water for three days. You, okay. on, the, on the first day, you'll have um, like a litre and a half. And the second day, half a litre. And then the third day, no water and you'll shoot the fourth. And the wow. funeral is on the sixth day. <laughs> <laughs> Fake news, bitch. Could you try to be sexier? Maybe more likable this time? Oh yeah, this totally makes sense. Hey, can you be a little sexier during your psychotic badger freak out? Yeah, we know that's you in the makeup. We don't care. Because honestly, she just looks like Ben Barnes got his face smushed by a fucking semi-truck. Dwayne Johnson voiced the man. Oh, Dwayne, what you doing, Dwayne? What you doing, Dwayne? Don't encourage this shit. It's, it's shit like this that Taylor does that makes me thank God Kanye did what he did. I mean, imagine complaining that you weren't rich fast enough <laughs> because of this supposed penis menace the penis <laughs>